Hello and welcome to FEM Expert. In today's tutorial, we're gonna show you how to perform a model analysis in ANSYS APDL using a shell type elements. We're gonna go to ANSYS. For this tutorial, we're gonna use uh, millimeters. Uh, we're gonna use the models in millimeters, which will imply and require some specific uh, stuff that we're gonna explain. So we're gonna start by creating a, a specific profile. We're gonna do it by key points. So we're gonna use K comma. The number of points is gonna be consecutively added by NC. So we're gonna ignore that. So comma comma zero zero zero. The first coordinate then K comma comma fifty zero zero. That means fifty millimeters in the x, x axis. Then K comma comma a hundred zero zero. That's the third point. I'm gonna look at them all in a line and the third the fourth one is gonna be 50 comma 1 minus 120 0 and the next one is gonna be 0 minus 120 0 after we have all the key points we're gonna create the lines between them with L comma P we select two lines and keep selecting them until we have the profile done and look at LP look at the profile and we're gonna copy in, in order to obtain the shell profile we're going to uh, extrude but in order to perform the extrusion we're going to copy this key point at one meter um, meaning 1000 millimeters in the z direction we can look at it we can create a line we're going to create a line between these two points we're going to watch it on g plus so we can see the lines and the points to extrude we're going to use a drag which is uh, extruding lines with other lines Gonna select these two lines okay we're gonna select this other line okay i'm gonna do another g plot we're gonna actually nail plot this easier and we're gonna do an a drag comma p again do not try to do the whole profile as once because ansys won't like that so you'll have an error one we're gonna select we can select any of these lines we're gonna select the middle one <coughs> and when you will do an a plot you're gonna see the shape of the the profile one of the things that we have you have to be taken into consideration when using uh, extrusion is that if you do a l list line list comma p in these two locations where we use the lines for the reference and it has has two super superimposed lines so we have to do the num merge comma kp in order to get rid of those lines so if we do an l list again we're gonna have only two lines there so we're going to be fine no more duplicated lines or any issues so we're going to go to define the element type edit the delete add shell node 181 for nodes for the real constants we don't have an issue and then for the um, unit for the materials we have to look into the consistent units this is the LSDyna support here the, this web page belongs to LSDyna which is a program that uh, a final element program like ANSI is a little bit different but th the idea what we need from here is in order to use the units you know, or we have to use consistent units in order to interpret the results and to have uh, correct analysis so if, for example if we use the international system which is kilograms mass uh, kilogram meters second newton we obtain the stress in pascals the energy in joules and we have to introduce for example the density in kilograms divided by cubic meter so the value for this still would be this one and for the young's modulus would be uh, newton divided by uh, square uh, square meter which are pascals so we we would have 2.07 or 2.1 10 uh, exponentially to 11. for our purpose we're going to use the ton millimeter second newton megapascals newton millimeter and this means that the density is going to be in 7.83 exponentially minus 9 tons divided by cubic millimeter and the Young's modulus is going to be 2000, 2700 or 2210,000 or 207,000 in our case it's going to be 2100 because we're going to use use 2.1 so 200, 210,000 um, new, um, newton mil, uh, uh, newton divided by uh, 
square millimeter, which are pascals. So we're gonna go back to ANSYS and we're gonna start defining the material. We're gonna go to the material properties, material model, structural linear elastic isotropic, 210,000 pascals. The uh, Poisson's coefficient is an eight dimension, so it doesn't matter. It's the same, so density is gonna be 7.83 exponentially minus nine. We're gonna verify that once more. Uh, sorry, not that window here. So it's gonna be 7.83 exponentially minus nine. And we're gonna go back to, we're gonna back, go back to ANSYS. And here, once we have this, we're gonna create the section. We have to get rid of this menu first so we're gonna go to create the section shell layout added it delete added it it's gonna be 10 millimeters under the name the thickness is gonna be 10 because it's in under millimeters we hit okay then we're gonna do uh, we're gonna look at the model we're gonna do a a size comma all comma 20 so that's the element area element size for all the areas 20 millimeters and then we're gonna do an a mesh comma p and we're gonna pick all. Then we're gonna do a DK comma P to restrict the key points of this uh, region. We're gonna select all the degrees of freedom, zero. So what we have is the final model. Then we're gonna go to solution, analysis type, new analysis model. We're gonna go here and analysis option, zero, 10, 10, okay, <clears throat> and okay. We're going to go to perform the solve. Solution is done. And when we look at general processing and we read the results by peak, we have the frequencies from 48 to 1147. We're going to read the first frequency. We're going to do a PL and a sol U sum. P and L sol U sum for the summation of the displacements. And we're gonna do an animation of the mode shape, 50 frames, 0 0.1, and use some. So we said before uh, the, def the deformations are on different axes and they are factors of um, sinuses. So half a sinus, one sinus, two sinuses, and so on. So we're gonna look at this, this deformation. It goes left to right among the X direction. We're gonna look at the next one. We're going to animate it again. Okay, and as you can see, this is a torsional, a torsional mode. These modes are inf are influenced by the material properties, by the stiffness, by the stiffness determined by the geometry. So they could be quite complex. We're going to look at the third, not the third one, the fourth one. And as you can see here, we said it uh, as I told you on the last tutorial. The the shapes are sinuses you have one period two periods half a period and so on as here you can see here is we have one period and we're going to go to and they can also compose themselves so they become more and more complex we're going to go to uh, we're going to pick up for example the seventh mode and as you can see here the results are way more uh, clear like we have a sinus period and we have the same behavior on this top flange so we're going to animate this with mode shapes okay and as you can see we have exactly the predicted well the s the the, the thing that we were just telling you they are the deformations are uh, based from sinuses the higher the, the the frequency is the more complex the shape in general is this uh, means well the, the the shape this means for example in this situation that if we have a f any kind of load that has the frequency of 1147 it will determine this type of deformation in our structure regardless of how the force is introduced and 
any of their characteristics, the the mode that this that, that our structure will take is uh, this. The shape our structure will take is this. Uh, the more complex, uh, the the higher the frequencies are, the f the shapes are more complex because we have compositions of more sinuses. Although uh, this could be very complex in structures, uh, also the energy gets dissipated because there are more deformations in more places. So in general, the more important or the most analyzed frequencies are usually the, the first ones, less first tens ones or whatever in uh, structures, usually mechanical structures. When we're talking about uh, other types of structures, things change, for example, in piezoelectric uh, structures. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed this. Uh, tutorial. If you did, uh, we please uh, pl invite you to uh, subscribe to our channel and like our videos so we can crea keep creating more tutorials and helpful videos for you. Thank you for watching.